How's it going? Adam Drake here, and today I want to share with you the carburetor settings for the OS Speed B21 Ronda Drake Edition 2 engine. I also want to share with you, uh, we updated the colors for the cooling head, the original Ronda 2 Edition engine. Uh, we did something a little bit different where we did like a clear coat on the cooling head and it made the black look really, really glossy, but it kind of dulled or made the pink look a little bit more like a purplish red. So we went away from the glossy black, and as you can see here, it just makes the white and the pink really bright and pop and make it really close to Rhonda's color scheme. So all the engines that we have in stock and that we've had in stock for some time now have the updated cooling heads. The replacement cooling heads that we have in stock are also all the, the updated, really bright white and pink cooling heads. Um, as far as the carburetor settings go, the settings for the Ronda 2 will be the same settings that are used on the 83 engine because it's the same configuration. But I do wanna go through talk to you a little bit about and show you kind of how to measure those settings. And just remember, these settings are just a baseline. It's just, if you get lost with your tune, this is just kind of a safe place to get back to. Don't worry if your settings are a little bit different than this because there are so many variables um, as far as the vehicle that it's in, the air filter you're using, the clutch, the Venturi size, the brand fuel. Um, all those can play a bit of a factor in what your, your carburetor settings are going to be. So th this is going to be for the OS Speed B21 Ronda 2 in a Mugen MBX-8R with Flashpoint 30% fuel. So the idle gap, we normally start at 0.5 millimeter, so half a millimeter. Um, I have other videos where I show how you can measure that. Um, I like to just use a little zip tie um, to measure the idle gap. I don't really go back and check the idle gap uh, too much. Normally I will, like especially if you get an engine from us that comes broken in, we set the idle gap as well as the low speed and high speed needles for the initial break in. But starting or baseline if you get lost, half a millimeter, it's fine if the idle gap is slightly less than that or even slightly higher depending on how much time you have on the fuel or how much fuel you have through the engine. But again, baseline would be half millimeter for the idle gap. On the low speed, you're just gonna take some digital calipers. You'll make sure that you zero out the calipers and you want to lay the calipers across the idle screw so you don't want the calipers to actually fall into the head of that idle screw and then you will measure by pushing this down flat making sure that it's sitting flat on the um, low speed assembly and the baseline for that is going to be 0.35 to 0.45 millimeters in from flush so next we will move to the mid-speed needle. And this normally comes set at flush. Uh, typically when the engine is kind of at race tune, we will end up just slightly in from that. So we're gonna say 0.1 millimeters in from flush to possibly even 0.15 or even 0.2 millimeters in from flush for the mid-speed adjustment. Now, for the high-speed adjustment, this is where you're gonna probably see the most variance, but again, just wanna make sure we get you in the baseline. Again, when measuring any of these, you wanna make sure that the caliper doesn't fall down into the slot. You wanna just measure across the head of the screw. And for the high-speed needle, you're gonna to wanna to be in the 1.3 millimeters to 1.45 millimeters in from flush. Now, again, 
It's fine if your settings vary slightly from this. This is just if you get lost. Say you have a gasket that rips and your engine kind of gets out of tune or pressure line rips or, or falls off and your tune gets out of whack and you just want to kind of get back to home or back to a baseline with an engine that is fully broken in. Now, if you're just getting ready to break in a new engine, these settings are going to be too lean for that. So if you have questions on settings for this engine or any of the engines, we have a lot of that information on our website at thedrakeracing.com or you can always feel free to message or email us directly.